Welcome back. Uh, this is the second video in a three-part series of how to 3D print on a Minecraft uh, on the Minecraft game on the desktop version. We just went over setup, what programs you need to use, and how to set up the server. Now, the second part, we're going to go over the basic controls of Minecraft, uh, the printable area where you can place blocks down, and which block types we can use um, inside Minecraft for 3D printing. So, basic controls. Um, you're going to take your three fingers on your left hand and you're going to put them on A, S, and D on the keyboard. Um, A is move left, S is move back, D is move right, and W is move forward. Uh, this is just like the arrow keys, but it's on the left side of the keyboard. And you'll notice that if you move your mouse around, this is the direction of your head. You can look to the right, and you can move, look to the left, but it doesn't actually move your space. You have to use the keyboard keys. A, S, D. And to move forward is W. Uh, the next movement command we're gonna learn is flying. So if you double tap spacebar, um, that makes you fly. If you hold down spacebar, you can fly up. And now when you're in flying mode, you can double tap spacebar again, space again to drop down. So we're gonna double tap spacebar to fly, hold it to fly up a little bit, and I'm gonna move around to a plot. So you notice there's lots of these plots. There's 36 of them, 36 um, areas to make different Minecraft uh, creations. Um, the crosshairs don't really mean anything, it just uh, tells you where the center of it is, but the glowstone outline is your bounding box. This is the area that you have to make your object inside for it to be 3D printable, for us to 3D print. Uh, so I'm gonna double tap spacebar to drop down. And we have to find some blocks to print with. So I'm gonna tap E on the keyboard once, and I'm gonna grab some blocks. Um, because when you 3D print it, it's all gonna be in the same color, it really doesn't matter what block you pull out. I'm just gonna grab some wool. Um, the other block that we can use is a half slab and a stair. These are the three types of blocks that I always use for 3D printing, so they have different shapes to them. Um, like I said again, it doesn't matter what shape, what block you use, it's all going to print out in the same. So I'm going to press E again to close this dialog. And if I right click, it places a block down. And you notice that whatever surface my crosshairs is on when I move my mouse, that is the surface that's going to build the next block onto when I right click. And I know which surface I'm selecting right now. One, because of the crosshairs, and two, because of that faint black outline. So I'm going to build a basic house really quick. Uh, one good note to know, right now, I can't place a block down. I'm right-clicking, but it's not working. So that means I'm too far away. So, if I hold shift, it'll move me down a little bit while I'm in flying mode. And you can see that little black outline appears. That means I'm close enough to place a block down. Um, and let's say I want to use a different block that's in my inventory. Um, if I press 2, it's going to jump to the second item in my inventory in the bottom of the screen. If I press 3, it'll jump to the third one. Remember, these were blocks that we placed there by uh, going into the inventory, E. Press E again to close this dialog. So now I have a staircase. I'm going to press 2 to go to the half slabs, build a little deck. Remember, I'm right-clicking to place these blocks down. If I left-click, it will destroy them. And you'll notice that I can't actually delete the floor. Uh, that's because this is essentially our print bed. This is, the, this is the, the bottom of the printing area for when we uh, download these for 3D printing. And press 1 to go back to that solid, that full block again. Sweet, so now I have my house. 
a little porch and some room. You'll notice that I'm not using glass. If I were to use glass to make my windows or to make my skylights, it would fill it, it would print as a solid block. It wouldn't show up. It would just, it wouldn't look the same. So for all my windows and my doors, I usually just keep it open. Sweet. So we went over the basic controls. We looked over the print area. And one more time, the types of blocks that we can use. We can only use a solid block like this. It can be any shape. We can use a half slab. And we can use a staircase block. These are the best blocks to use for 3D printing. Sweet. So that's the end of part two, uh, designing your objects. Part three, um, uh, saving them for as STL files for 3D printing. We'll go over in the next video.